Let's start with that. Do you, how, how do you feel about Q&As? Like, do you get nervous going into there? Do you like being face-to-face -face right there with the fans? I, yeah, I mean, we have sweet fans, so it's, it's nice, you know. They're, nobody's obnoxious or anything. And it's nice to have a partner in crime like Andrew there because then you can just bounce off of each other. And I think, you know, you remember things with one another that you might not remember on your own, which is sweet. Um, but in general, I have some really great experiences with the fans from Castle. I, th I think that they're uh, a great bunch. We've been very fortunate. Yeah. I mean, there's something about you know, Twitter, or Facebook, or whatever, fan mail, but seeing them face to face, yeah. that's, that's a whole different uh, beast, I guess. Yeah, no, it's nice, because people uh, invest in the show, and they're excited to see the people that they see weekly in front of them, and I think um, they invest in this show in a way that's sustained us, um, so to be able to engage with them. Uh, on a certain level is, is a privilege. Yeah. yeah. Now you were saying four and a half years since the very beginning of this, this whole journey. Yeah. You have come, you know, your character has come so far in this yeah. time. You know, yeah. uh, even like the, what you wear, you know, you started out wearing what I really... Wear. <laughs> what I wear. Come on, let's talk about it. It's my fashion. <laughs> Come on, brother. I'm not, I'm not much for fashion, but oh. uh, things have gotten a little more... Um, what? More... What's saucy? the word? Sauce. That's what exactly, I'm looking for. Without saying sexy, like saucy. Yeah. 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 Um, yeah, definitely. I mean, like, I think that in the initial stages of the show, we were telling a story where we very clearly needed to communicate to audiences that she was a detective. Um, and then since then, the character has um, unfolded more in front of the audience and is able to. Uh, explore a lot, explore a lot of wonderful storylines, and um, her looks have, of course, kind of maybe softened and, and been a little bit more adventurous from time to time. And I think that we've got that permission now, because she is a girl, she's from Manhattan, she grew up there, and so there's an allowance when you have that kind of history. And then I think also just the fact that, um, the fact that she's in charge uh, and that she's a detective doesn't mean that she has to be um, ignoring her femininity, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Now, I remember when when we found out about the romance, the castle romance. Yes. You were so excited that it was finally going to go there. Yes. Now that we are there, yes. is it what you expected? Is it, you know, are you loving it? Is it, is it fun playing? Yes. This is this has truly been a really fun season to play. Um, I loved all the seasons. They've all been a part of the progression. Like we wouldn't have this season if we didn't have last season. If we didn't have all the seasons before, we we just wouldn't have the permission to do that. And I think after four seasons of these characters growing individually, learning more about each other, we finally have the permission for the two of them to be together and really enjoy each other. And I think the audience is so invested, or I hope, is so invested in their individual journeys that um, the payoff for uh, them being together is, is a lot, it's richer. Mm -hmm. um, and I think we can enjoy the nuances that, that the writers are creating between these two characters and the fun kind of roller coaster that any first year romance happens to be. You know? mm. Now, after playing a detective for five seasons, yeah. do you feel like if you got out with the NYPD could you really that I maybe throw help? down? Yeah, could you? <laughs> so I could solve a case. <laughs> Do you think like Trust deep down inside? I have serious detecting skills. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Seriously. Who took my sweater? <laughs> this is the case. Um, yeah, I, sure. I, I could definitely, I could definitely hang with the NYPD. Are you kidding me? Charm and sass, they'd love it. Um, <laughs> Yeah, no, I, those guys those guys are serious. I got to run around with them for a bit when we first started the show. And um, the thing about the NYPD that was amazing was how big of a sense of humor they all had. You know, like they're... I think Andrew even said this earlier. He was talking about the gallows humor. And it's really true to form in the real world um, New York Police Department. Um, 
And that was it was incredible to see. That justified a lot of the stuff that we do on the show, I thought, which was fun. Nice. Mm -hmm. Okay, so the episode we're talking about is this documentary episode where yeah. cameras, new cameras, not yeah. just the regular cameras, are on are on set. Yes. <laughs> Intense or what 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 can we expect? Well, as an actor it was interesting to try to play with another character because the camera became a character and it was the first time in the history of the series where we actually looked at camera and talked to camera. <laughs> and that was really weird because you spend a lot of time avoiding camera. Where's camera? It's over there. Okay, got it. Where's my eye line? Okay, right there. Got it. You know? Um, and this is the first time that we were actually chatting with camera. And then my character, of course, has, um, has a problem with staring at the camera and wants to try to avoid it. And everybody else is just ham and cheesing it up for camera. So um, it was fun. It was really neat to play with that style of filmmaking and to dance almost with our camera guys for the first time. They became another, another person in the show. It was nice. Interesting. Now you know how we feel when we're talking to the camera. <laughs> I do. Yeah. <laughs> That's <laughs> it's there's a thing. You have to kind of get get over a little bit of a hurdle where it's like, Oh, this is hello, human. Yeah, you're talking to this eye. Yeah. Like, whoa. Yeah. It was, it was it was fun. It was a fun exploration. And I was talking to Andrew a little bit about where the romance is going. People yeah. you know, people Very still sad. don't know, you're still keeping it. No rings, no babies, nothing, huh? <gasps> oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Sorry, go ahead. He's cringing. Andrew is over there in the corner cringing right now. Sorry, yeah. Spoiler alert. If you could hand him a list of what needs to happen before the finale. Oh, jeez. What, what would you tell him? Look, man, I'm an actor. I just speak the words that I'm given, okay? Is that Did true? <laughs> <laughs> See, he wants to know. <laughs> um, yeah, okay, so here, here's... Even if it's fun. Here, here's kind of what you're, you're asking me. <laughs> um, the thing about working with Andrew and with his team in general, the, the kind of workspace environment that he's created and set up, is that there's a lot of dialogue. There's an openness. There's a collaboration. And that's, I think, extraordinary. Like, I... I I commend you for that. Andrew's over there, audience members. <laughs> right over there. I'm talking to the camera, good. Taking good. notes. <laughs> no, he's not. Um, but, yeah, I, I do commend him for that because that builds, uh, builds a tremendous amount of investment, personal investment in the stories and in what we are all creating. And you feel like you're a part of the process. process and you also feel kind of like um, that might not be the case in every creative collaboration in town. And so I think that that's something special that we're very fortunate to have. So thank you. Well, there we go. Yeah. <laughs> OK, um, now, besides him, cast members and everything, yeah. things have got to have changed dramatically from four and a half years ago, right? Yeah. Is it, is it like a family? Do you, are you sending Christmas cards this Christmas? Like, <laughs> What's your relationship like with everybody now? Um, the guys are like brothers. <laughs> Why are you laughing? <laughs> because they're such, I mean, adorable, but dorks. <laughs> but adorable. And um, we've got a really dear cast. And I think that we have a really great crew. I mean, I know we have a great crew. And I think that everybody that comes and guests on our show feels like that as well. Like, I consistently hear it from guest stars that um, they feel uh, very welcomed and um, embryonic. Like, I think we can get creative in our space because we're so welcoming um, and friendly, hopefully. And I think that's an important thing to have when you work the 14 and plus hours that we do, right? You have to enjoy it and find a, a sense of fun and play. Yeah, especially when you're waking up at 5 in the morning, right? Yes, sir. <laughs> yes, sir. I'm not a morning 